Hey, welcome to this quick um, configuration video, I guess is the best way of calling saying it, for the Wheel of Time. Now, when I first started trying to play this game, I had a, well, initially I didn't have a huge problem with it, but when I started trying to actually launch the main game, I started having some issues. The first thing I started seeing, basically, was some of the default settings that were part of the game were very stuttery for me for starters so it wasn't a very smooth experience to say the least now I bought this on GOG so if you're using GOG Galaxy there's a couple things you should notice about the game real quick that I'd like to point out and that's these additional executables so if you're going to try to mess around your DirectX or the inglide settings this is where you would do it but the best way of playing the game that I had think I have found is what I want to share with you all and that's by using the DG Voodoo um, setup so the video setup here is where you want to go in and actually set your um, preferences basically and you see here does 3d FX Lite or direct 3d support now for me I basically have chosen 3d FX glide and yes you can technically use software rendering but not, not something I would recommend, but that is a failsafe in case everything else doesn't work for you. But for me, I set it up to use 3DFX Glide. And initially, I was using the Inglide wrapper, and that was working pretty... Well, I can't say it was working very well for me, because I would have an issue where the uh, videos may not exactly match they would drop down to like a, a resolution of 640 by 480 and then when it would try to go back into the game the game would completely and totally lock up or it would start flashing around and just be completely and totally unusable to the point where i'd have to bring it to the task manager and break it or you know shut it down that way so the game just was not working even though it did act fairly smooth for a little while having said that with um, DG Voodoo, I was getting my uh, my letters correct here. The um, instructions for doing that, I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of what it says here. Now, I think basically Glide, like I said, is the uh, thing that I recommend doing. So I made a backup of the original ones, and these DLLs are the, probably the ones that the in Glide plugin provided so the ones I copied over are located here in a 3dfx x86 not 64 and these two right here I'm not exactly sure what this napalm folder is that's interesting glide that's also a glide 3x.dll I might have to look into that and and see if that is better or whatnot I'm not entirely sure but basically you copy these three DLLs into your system folder and you can see here um, the entire path for the um, GOG one is program files x86 GOG Galaxy games the wheel of time and then system and that's where the uh, wot.executable is located so you just copy those three over now if you do want to try using direct 3d uh, the ones you want to copy over here in the x86 directory, but you don't want to copy over ddraw.dll. That will actually not work. So like when you try to run the game with Direct3D, it will be extremely choppy, like to the point of complete and total unusableness. Like you can't even get past like the opening movies. That's how bad it will get. So you would copy over these three. Now for me, I couldn't get it where it was giving me a consistent visual quality with Direct3D, which is, and when I say that, it's like when it was swapping between movies and actual gameplay. That was where I had the problems. Because to be honest with you, I felt like the uh, Direct3D renderer seemed to look a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it just didn't work very well for me, unfortunately. So you 
when you copy all those three things over, that's not all you have to do. You also have to run the uh, DG Voodoo CPL, which I, I think stands for Control Panel. And here's my settings for DG Voodoo that I wanted to share it with you all, basically. So, you know, the Output API, I went ahead and said Best Available One. It seems like it might select whatever's better for you depending on which one of the two plugins you use and um, other than that i think the scaling mode i did i put here stretch keep aspect keep aspect ratio but that's for windowed mode i think so it doesn't necessarily apply to um full screen theoretically i'll go ahead and hit apply anyway uh, you could probably uncapture the mouse. I'm not entirely sure if that's needed or whatnot, but I just leave it there. But here's my glide. You know what? It didn't keep my settings. That's weird. So anyway, I had it set to 12 megabytes just because. And then I selected my resolution down here. Now this watermark, you're, you're going to want to get rid of that because it will get very... Um, annoying it'll be in the bottom right hand corner so definitely get that and and don't do this spl splash screen you may think it will look cool but but don't do it because that will be, it will start popping up like constantly every time it tries to swap the resolution or something you will get very annoyed with seeing that 3dfx splash screen very quickly to say the least um you can also set anti-aliasing here I, I set mine to 8x and I left the this filtering to app driven but everything else is pretty much the same here that I had set up you have different types of voodoo cards you can select I just left it on voodoo 2 and that seemed to work very well for me which is kind of odd because I could have sworn when uh, the wheel of time game came out the voodoo 2 was already pretty old at that point. In fact, I'm almost 100% sure that they had the Voodoo 3 out at that time, but I could be mistaken. But anyway, these are the settings that I was running, and I think maybe just by leaving this control panel open, it, um, it would work for me, basically. But this not only gives you a smooth playing experience, it also makes it so that the movies are matching your resolution and that was kind of like my my big um issue that i was having is that the resolution of the game might be very good but then the movies be sh shrunk down into a corner of the screen which was just getting very um bad at least from a uh, recording perspective that's why i want to say that if you maybe want to use like the direct 3d if you don't mind the movies being smaller like centered in the middle of the screen and being smaller then you might want to go ahead and give that a shot um i tried this disable and pass through to, to real direct x and that didn't work for me at all when i attempted to do that it was basically just like using the um you know the uh existing direct 3d settings that you already had in the game might, might as well not even bother with dg voodoo at that point basically uh, but there's also another DG Voodoo watermark that you want to get rid of if you do that. Other than that, um, I don't think there was a lot I did in regards to the DirectX settings. Might be able to play with it a little bit more, but I just feel like Glide just worked better and with uh, less issues. And so that's what I um, ha have stuck with. Not really sure about some of these other things to give a try, but I think these settings right here probably good enough. And maybe now that now I look at it, yeah, the 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 um, stretched is probably maybe it is worth putting there. Stretch keep aspect ratio. And uh, I'll go ahead and give you all a link to it. But here's basically the DG Voodoo um, quick guide, and they can kind of give you even more. Uh, suggestions for configuration purposes that may actually help you out so definitely worth giving a try like i said i had a very difficult time getting everything 
synchronized and looking the, the same, basically. And so I figured I'd go ahead and share that information with you all. Now, I am running Windows 10. I believe this information would probably be helpful for people doing Windows 11, but I can't verify that for 100% fact that it will work on Windows 11 as well as Windows 10 but I'm hoping that most likely it probably will as well um, don't have a separate drive running Linux currently so I haven't really had a chance to play around the game on Linux so I don't know how difficult it is to get it up and running on Linux as well but this method worked for me and the, I will say there was a forum post on GOG for the Wheel of Time that actually clued me in on the not including direct draw because just looking for this stuff on Google I was having a pretty difficult time finding any quick solutions basically but this worked for me and hopefully if you're having issues getting a Wheel of Time or maybe even other older Unreal Engine games working properly this might be something you can look into. In fact, you know, like you, you can see here, they have galleries of other games, so it may not even be just limited to Unreal Engine, maybe other old games that you might be able to make use of this DG Voodoo wrapper, as it were. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this information helps you. Take care.